Thousands of local veterans now have service dogs thanks to a local organization. Today, 36 vet veterans gathered at the Columbia County Library to see their rescue dogs graduate from different levels of service training. News Channel 6's Stephanie Borman was there, and Stephanie, 36 canines were awarded their certificates. And what kind of skills do they learn? Well, Mike, these dogs have to go through weeks of training, rain or shine, to learn skills that save lives. The organization Veteran Canine Solutions strongly believes through saving a dog, they can rehabilitate a veteran. To give these veterans a better quality of life. Home of the free because of the brave men and women who fight for our country. Becoming home and readjusting is not always easy. I had been through all the treatments I could possibly go through that I was aware of at the VA, and I just needed something else because it just wasn't enough. Now many veterans are turning to Veterans Canine Solutions. The nonprofit takes dogs off death row in shelters and trains them as service dogs. He uh, saves my life every day. Giving dogs and veterans another chance at life. With this dog, they can have a a quality of life where they can go places, they can do things, they can enjoy life the way it should be enjoyed. CEO and founder Jerry Lida says the VA doesn't recognize service dogs as therapy because not enough studies have been done. All they got to do is ask any one of these individuals out here what that dog has done for them. This gives us the freedom to go out and be in the community uh, and be a part of society again. Before the veterans who have had these dogs for a while, the canines are proving to truly be man's best friend. I ran my truck off the road one day during a flashback, and uh, he was in my lap bringing me back from that. And I was able to get control of my truck and bring it back on the Gordon Highway. On Saturday, September 26th, the group is doing a Canine for Heroes ride starting at the Augusta Harley Davidson to raise money for an indoor training facility. I'm going to be tweeting out a link to more information about that event, and you can follow me at Stephanie WJBF. Mike.